is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a healthcare partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. Hey, I'm Charlie. I really enjoy Ramsey County's Household Hazardous Waste Program. They make it really accessible with their drop-off options. And they send out postcards every once in a while with helpful information. I drop off my household hazardous waste at the Bay West site. I like to let items in my home collect so I can bring a larger haul just a few times a year. I always tell people to check the website before they go. Chances are you haven't thought of all of the items that you can recycle, like batteries. When I recycle, I feel like I'm doing my part to minimize my carbon footprint, and it's easy and accessible to do so. It's time to knock some things off your bucket list. First up, travel the world. If you've always wanted to visit Hong Kong or vacation in the Swiss Alps and wondered what it was like, well, Jeanette, Yvette, and Tina got the scoop for you. These jet-setting divas are always at some fun and exotic place experiencing the best of what life has to offer. And each week, they'll tell you all about it. These ladies are always high-flying loads of fun. Hey, I'm Jeanette. And I'm Yvette. And I'm Tina. And we are the Jet Setting Divas. Hey, ladies. Hey. How's it going Hello. in the world of travel? Oh, my gosh. Craziness. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. These cruise ships. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> well, there's yeah. one flight that's coming out of uh, Vancouver, coming to Houston. There were so many uh, people on the that left the cruise that got sick on the flight. On the United you, flight. What, what, what are the details about that event? Yeah, I, I'm I not know sure. The, I, I, yeah, I'm I know for the y'all to tell me because yeah. I, I actually didn't. <laughs> they just said, I didn't they read just said it. dozens of people. They said dozens of people on this United Airlines flight that were coming out of Vancouver. They were they had been on an international cruise, and they all were sick. So they were vomiting and throwing up and diarrhea oh all in the plane. So they didn't have to get this hazmat, CDC, everybody's involved. They didn't have to clean, take these planes out of fleet. These are United Airlines flights. And they're saying that because of them going into some specific area, wherever the uh, cruise ships were, it's, it's, it's a specific cruise ship, but it's also those surrounding like Norwegian, Carnival, wow. all of those that were in that area. I don't know if it was a, something that they delivered or if just the fact that people were in the same area and maybe something happened in the bathroom. It, I don't know. It, it could have been because, you know, when once once cruise ships dock in certain areas, they bring in the food and the drinks mm -hmm. and the stuff. And it mm -hmm. may be the same companies or whatever mm -hmm. that's bringing this stuff in two different cruise lines, not only mm -hmm. just wow. one. So the so the illnesses came off of different cruise ships. Right. It wasn't right. just one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they couldn't, pin, they couldn't pinpoint it. I think they said yeah. maybe the celebrity or maybe a summit. They said a couple of names, of shoot, but they were saying, you know, they, they came from an international cruise. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you take another boat to get on a boat? I don't know. Mm. So, well, yeah. when you're coming out of Vancouver, you going like Alaska, you, you going I'm like, Alaska. yeah, you, Hawaii, yeah. maybe. I don't know. You know, you're going different places what yeah, are things you can do though if you're on a if you're on a flight like that and you but i don't do, think they i don't know because i think they were feeling sick because i was reading they were feeling sick before they got on that flight they were just mm. feeling sick but they wanted to get to so, the, get on the flight mm -hmm. that's the question if you're feeling sick do you think you should jump on a flight did you i, I think you shouldn't get on it yeah but i don't think, because you know what, like, I, don't want to be up in the air are, and see. People are selfish and but they want to get I home. Feel, I can feel a little ill. Like I told you one time, I ate some like um, White Castle burger before I got on a plane. And I could feel my stomach kind of bubbling. But all I kept on thinking is, oh, my gosh, just let me hold it. But if you're coming from Vancouver, this is international. You're coming yeah. out of Gonna be on there a while. You may feel like I can take it for a two or three hour, but so you're gonna be on like an eight hour, What's eight hour five, flight. Five, five, no, five, eight to five, five, six, five, six hours, maybe five hours. 
Yeah, I flew him directly into Vancouver. It actually must have been pretty bad because I know I've been on flights and I've gotten sick and I use that little bag or I go to the restroom and I pull myself Mm -hmm. back together. But these people must have had some really bad, you know, bad issues. Mm -hmm. And and I I would say maybe you shouldn't get on a flight if you if you feel in that bad, you shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't get because you're not only hurting yourself. But what I'm saying is they may have eaten and they didn't feel immediately at that particular time. Yeah, Mm -hmm. true. And they didn't you know they got on the plane the plane and took off now you sick yeah you're trying to get in the bathroom mm-hmm. you know they only got two three bathrooms and you're trying to get in the door and, and somebody in there and it's like oh it's coming it's coming and it goes so i don't i don't, I, I mean i feel for them because they also said it was other flights so it, it wasn't it was like a few people on this particular flight but there were other flights mm-hmm. also yeah. that people were getting on and i don't know for anybody to get on a flight it was like did you know a couple of people said they did they just wasn't feeling well but they didn't think it was that mess about it, I guess, maybe. I mean, I'm glad, imagine. though, they took those, I, yeah, they took those pl- that's a, flights out of uh, rotation, at least so that there other people don't yeah. get on there. Oh, yeah, they, oh, yeah. My, they didn't check it out. Personally, yeah, my anxiety will be just on high if I'm up in the air and I'm sick yeah. and you yeah. have nowhere to go. You just stuck mm-hmm. in a plane. Like, you know, uh, no, I, yeah. I, I just, yeah. just can't yeah. do it. You just know, imagine and you're sitting plus, by the window and the person sleeping over there on the aisle. <laughs> you got to start making people move. Get 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 out the way right now. You know, I could just see some people over here then stepped over people. Or or something. Like, or you you know you make throw up on somebody or. Yeah, because they said they took okay. the, they had they you should see those people. They were in the like like you know the quarantine thing. They was head to toe. They had gloves and power something, and they were on the plane. And they and they um it it, it looked crazy. So I I wonder if if they were actually ex, ex, uh, excreting their their substance over the plane because they they was they was like bla- blasting it well. and it out. Be- I want to know because then, now you got to think about people that was on the plane that's not sick that's and what, they was no, not on the plane. That's what I They're, was thinking about. But yeah, they, what now do you they do? gonna get it. They yeah. gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. maybe we need to take our mask and start yep. wearing those again. At least have it as an optional, ba- you know, as a backup option. If yeah, you want to fight like yep. that. Yeah, and I was also reading that, that they started getting sick about thirty minutes before they landed. So that also makes mm. me wonder if maybe oh. they were handing out something, or they were sit. Everybody was fine, and then maybe they gave drinks, or because United probably mm. gives free soda drinks. They probably still drinking from the cruise and chew. That stuff said, I ain't staying down. <laughs> I ain't. I'm coming I out. Mean, I mean, just think about these cruises. Then those cruises come in in the morning. They rush all those people off, and then they start putting new people on there. Like mm-hmm. I know they clean, but are, are they, they cleaning clean? really? Are they, I, they cleaning? How, how how clean can it really be? You because we we just was on a cruise. Literally, yeah. they were saying, "Y'all, we finna debark this plane." You most people went down and ate. I, picking up, you know, whatever gifts and things they had to pick mm-hmm. up. And then they were cleaning. They were cleaning quick. You know, remember, they, they were had cleaning. People, they, had them, and, and they had people getting detail, ready to get back on. But I don't think it was detailed because they was rolling no. through them rooms. Because, you know, yeah. they knew that by, you know, they, they they taking one crew off and then people are coming on. Yeah. And they are already going to start putting bags. You don't know. They ain't clean that shower good around that <laughs> toilet. You know, they may have changed them sheets. They ain't wiped that stuff down good. I'm, you know. That's why you so, saw you see those people have them hacks that be like, here's yes, how you clean a uh that's cap. exactly now what I was know. about to say. Yes, and, and that's take why the life off, you, take the you be life having off. them little travel lifestyle <laughs> bottles. Yeah. And I yeah. feel sometimes I feel um alcohol in the little spray bottles. Mm, yeah. And yes. just have with me and mm-hmm. even when yes. you're going in hotel rooms, you gotta be mindful. I do it. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. when I go to when I, I feel comfortable in, I go I go to a hotel mm-hmm. like every week and I, I spray the sheets mm-hmm. and I spray the bathroom because I you know they can only do so much and yeah. they may use the same yeah. towel to clean the toilet that they clean the sink and girl, I uh I gotta I gotta clean that up good. Because <laughs> I don't know. They, there are people, I see people, they said they bring like their own sheets, own pillowcases, yeah. own that's a I little bit. Right. They own towels. <laughs> they bring their own towels and everything. Because some towels wasn't out, they was all right, but they was dingy looking. I'm like, mm-mm. I had taken some towels from that last hotel with me. <laughs> Face towels. 
<laughs> I think and I, I stay even when I go to Airbnb, I, I, I brought my I understand that, you know, they're going to provide towels. But, you know, because sometimes it's short, it ain't enough. I brought my own towels to the last Airbnb I went. I'm like, I'm bring my own mm. towels, use my own towels. I know where it came from and I ain't got to deal with them, even though I know I could have washed the towels and whatever. But it was only because. They, you know, they roll through there. You don't know. They probably blew their yeah. nose with them towels and washed <laughs> their behind with them towels. Girl, I got it. I, I need let's, to know where that towel let's came hope from. Not. Well, well, they, they, they did. It, <laughs> it, looks like, like, <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of delays today, too. Maybe it's the weather. We hear that there's a lot of delays coming out of Houston and... Well, yeah. it's storm season, and we did have a storm overnight. Although we are in Dallas, just think about the people yeah. mm -hmm. in Houston... Mm -hmm. the, we, we are in their flight path. Yeah. So that weather was bad, you know, last night mm -hmm. or whatever. So pr they probably wasn't able to leave Houston and come through this way yeah. if they're going mm -hmm. you yeah, know, just somewhere. Just imagine. Flight path. Just imagine if they even had to do some circling around, you know, if they had to mm -hmm. do some circling around before they landed. Because, you know, sometimes they divert them or they just fly around and them people are all in there getting sick. Girl, yeah. I want to know what plane that is because that they I, I need the exact number and the exact fleet that it's in. <laughs> so I know when I get on there, if it's the, the 1312 out of you know 747 Boeing, this I want to know that was that plane that from United that them people were sick on. But I think it's gonna stay out of yeah. commission for a minute. Probably so. Yeah. Hopefully, if it if it even comes back in, you know, hopefully, yeah. you know, they they're really yeah, they they are, but they gonna probably it's gonna take, come back in. It's coming back in because that that that's part of they uh they profit. You know, they the that, flight right. They are, people they, already got their flight numbers on their plane on their thing on their ticket. Yeah, cause they they have th their scheduled flights with that plane. What are they gonna do? Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. sure they have yeah. some backup planes, but you know, but mm -hmm. still. Yeah, months in you know, months in advance. You know, you think about we bought tickets to go on a flight in in July. That plane is already the plane. They already know the plane. Mm -hmm. So you know, we have to definitely um, you know, just be conscious. And you know, again, we're gonna have to go back to COVID methods. We're gonna go back in there yeah. with our mm -hmm. alcohol, our Clorox <laughs> wipes. You know, that touches stuff. I may even have to put me a mask on the next flight because I'm like, I don't know. I will start bringing one as a backup. And also with the weather, well, I, I always you need to one. be. You just need to be kind of go with the flow with the weather. Because with it being storm season, I know I was flying into Miami mm -hmm. a few weeks ago and we flew over. Mm -hmm. There was a storm in Miami. So we flew over the airport for a few hours, not a few hours, just a few, maybe 30, 40 minutes. And then they told us we were about to run out of gas. So we had mm -hmm. to go to Fort Lauderdale. I've been. I've yeah, been go in to Fort Lauderdale, get gas. And I'm <laughs> thinking to myself, we only had enough gas to get to Miami. So, uh, yeah, it's just the yeah, weather, because they was the weather fuel can definitely back up. Call. The yeah. weather can cause some serious yeah. issues. And it, I don't think it, people to keep that yeah. in mind, you know, you can't you count know, on, I don't use the bathroom, but, for, you know, and the plane and, you know, but I got about three hours of, you know, space in my, my, my bladder. I don't, I ain't got to get off the plane. I didn't got to use it on the plane, but you think about it, you know, you just, you planning for three hours and you on that five, mm -hmm. your stomach going to be like, mm. you know, we, we were even on a flight. Remember we stayed out on the runway for several hours and, and I don't know if it had to do with weather, but weather can cause a lot of issues especially people trying to get mm -hmm. to graduations. They're not able to get there Look, on time. We okay. hear that every year so, people miss graduations because of flight. Y'all know, y'all know the, the a flight from Dallas to Houston is like 30, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I've left Dallas and didn't get to Houston for like two hours before because mm. of, because of the weather. I've, the weather. I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've seen them go towards San Antonio, Austin, and they don't go that way to mm -hmm. get to Houston from, from Dallas. Right. They try to and go around the side. I've right. seen them, and I've been on a flight before where they've gone over to uh, like Arkansas that way mm -hmm. and then came yeah. back up wow. and, and went right. to Houston. So whether, mm -hmm. you know, it could delay your flight. You can be on, on a flight you know, if you got a three hour flight, you can be on there for five hours. Yeah, but I'm, I want to go back yeah. to cruise. You know, you on a cruise ship. Yeah. You eating all you can eat shrimp, you eating burgers and pizza <laughs> and all that stuff that every you know, I, I don't like buffets anyway, but think about it. Everything is, you know, you kind of put your own sitting food, out. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. like that um a la carte, what they call it a la carte, where everybody just kind of you know what you don't know. Where did the where did the it could have came from somebody? Somebody probably had, you know, something on their hand. Never know. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I probably gonna have to somebody could have coughed. Yeah, them restaurants. You know, I'm people are not. Restaurants. 
I'm sticking yeah. to the restaurants when we go to the. I ain't doing all of that. Yeah, uh, a la carte. And, that, and that's what we did a lot of the times. We had we reservations as much as we could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah I think we even for breakfast. I, I never ate the. Bu- I never ate the buffet on that last cruise. Okay, we were in the restaurants. Right I did. Yeah, the last the last day before we did, I think I I don't I don't eat eggs. I don't eat nobody eggs. I think I may have had something, but I don't know if I uh like some fruit or something maybe on my way out. Mm-hmm. But while we were eating, but I don't yeah I don't deal with you know too many things because I'm 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 real funny about how stuff look, and I don't know who them people. And I was seeing all them little kids. Yes. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't be dealing with them kids with their little hands. We don't know where they've been. So yep. that's something you have to really watch on the cruises, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and because hack kids don't you, know. Get your they don't uh, know reservations. What yeah. 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 Kids touching everything they see. They thinking they at home. They grab the pineapple off the thing. They mama, mama, no, no. And then mama touch their hand. That pineapple fall right back up in there. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling True. you, but you know, you have to you have to be careful, you know, because you know, we, you know, we even though we are not in our our COVID, you know, mm-hmm. protocol, we still probably need to live the way, you know, we yeah. did, you know, like live like monk. Everything dirty, everything not clean, and and just kind of go from there. Because I tell you, I still, I, you know, I have watched so many people just coughing. You know, and I'm in a casino. I didn't see just some of the. I'm like, you are not covering your mouth. You just touching everything. You know, money, money is dirty. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. Yes, money is dirty. Even when it you is. get it at the ATM, yeah. they nobody. It didn't go through no cleaner. It's dirty. <laughs> and I just be seeing people do. I'm like. Mm. I'm walking around hand hands, sanitizer. Yeah, I got my hand sanitizer. I'm going in the and bathroom. Lysol I'm washing spray. my hand. Yeah. Yeah. And Lysol spray. That's, yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, people be coughing. Ugh. No, no, no. That they throw me off there. You didn't, you know, when you cough, you know how many feet that can go. You don't even know who coughed when you didn't walk through the aisle. They probably and people people don't, didn't cough. Tina, Tina, what you and I was walking in the casino a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And I was, <laughs> I was just walking and a lady coughed on me or something. Yeah, she coughed right, wow. in, front of, right in front of us. I'm like, really? I was like, are you kidding me? And, and didn't cover her mouth. Girl, I walk, I need to walk around with my, I used to, when people would cough, I'd spray. Sweep me right in front of me. I'm like, yo, you ain't going to get that germ all over me. All them bacterias and stuff. But you know what? But, you know, as we travel, those are just some things we got to keep in mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, you know, hotels. I mean, don't take it for granted. You, Yeah, we want to take for granted that they've cleaned the best that they can. Mm-hmm. But did they really clean to the level of removing all of the germs and things that we need to? Because I'm going to tell you one more story. I was at a, I was in a room. And when I was walking down the hall, hall I could see these little gold little circles. You know, maybe, maybe somebody had had a surprise. They threw those little things up and it's kind of mm-hmm. like confetti-ish looking thing. Yeah. And I yeah. was all in the hall. And then when I got in the room that, I, you know, was my room first time walking in, they had it all on the floor. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah. They didn't even did vacuum. Did they not vacuum? Mm-mm. And if wow. they did vacuum, was that thing just there or did they come from another room that the, you know, it just, it was like, it wasn't a lot, but I see a little one here, there, there, but I saw it down the hall and then, you know, I stopped off, gave him some water. I could see it in the, other, I'm like, I don't know what kind of confetti that was. And if it got caught in a vacuum cleaner, but that let me know that they can pass even in the vacuum cleaner, they could be passing that mm-hmm. from room to room. You know, because them little wheels and the little brushes, that stuff ain't clean. They don't go out and clean that. That stuff, they go from on and on and on. So, go figure. So, yeah. well, clean like, up your so room. The travel world is getting crazy. With all, yeah. With all this being said, still, don't be scared to travel. Just oh, be yeah. prepared. No. Oh, yeah. To, yeah, just, I'm still yeah. going to travel. <laughs> be yeah. Just be I'm ready. I'm still going to travel. I'm yeah. still going to travel. So, yeah, you know, and that's how life going to be. But, you know, we're going to make it. We're going to make our first class fight out of anything that we get on, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. And we're going to make it safe, too. So, ladies, I, I think we've given our listeners a lot to think about to, this time about traveling and being safe. Yes. And not getting sick and what to do if you're on a flight with people getting sick and just all kinds of situations on cruises and everywhere. Yes, I, I'm excited. Well, ladies, I'm Jeanette. And I'm Yvette. And I'm Tina. And we are the Jet Setting Divas. See y'all. Tune in next Thursday when the Jet Setting Divas will tell you about another fun destination spot that you'll want to visit. For more on their excursions, log on to ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. Meet TAP, the Transit Assistance Program. TAP makes transit more affordable for people with lower incomes, with rides for just $1. To apply, it's easy. 
First, type. Go to metrotransit.org slash tap to fill in your info. Then, snap. Take a quick pic of your ID and one other accepted document, like an EBT card. Then, tap. Submit your application, and after getting approved, you'll get your tap go-to card mailed to you in about a week. Finally, load money on your card, then hop on any bus or light rail train to get where you're going for less. Apply in a few minutes and start saving money today. Learn more at metrotransit.org slash tap. No kid likes getting shots, but keeping them up to date on their childhood vaccines is very important. That includes the COVID-19 vaccine. It's recommended for all Minnesotans starting at the age of six months. Children six months through five years may need multiple doses. As a parent, your support can help your young child when their shots are scheduled. Your presence can decrease their anxiety. You can hold them in your lap and distract them with a song or a story, or by taking deep breaths with them, or just by holding their hand and letting them squeeze yours. Rely on your healthcare provider's experience with children and their skill at putting the whole family at ease during these appointments. After getting a vaccine, some children could have side effects, including injection site pain, tiredness, headache, chills, muscle pain, fever, and joint pain. Such side effects mean the immune system is responding to the vaccine. But it's also okay if your child has no side effects. People respond to the vaccine in different ways. It's not just another day in your life. Things are changing for the better. At Comcast, we see those changes and we're thinking about how we use technology today to live, work, learn, and play. And we're building for the future now so we're better prepared for the wants and needs of tomorrow. That's why Comcast is rolling out multi-gig internet speeds to more than 50 million homes and businesses before the end of 2025, making our already industry-leading network even faster, smarter, greener, and more reliable. Over the decades, Comcast has been your partner, working hard to serve your community and we'll continue to be your partner. We're expanding our gigabits so you can enjoy the tiny bits that matter most. In this job, I challenge myself and grow. At Lutheran Social Service of Minnesota, Kelly makes a difference. We see people, not disabilities. I'm here for them. Lutheran Social Service is now hiring direct support professionals to work in our homes and empower people in our community. The work is rewarding, and so are the benefits. Full-time direct support professionals receive medical, dental, and vision plans, matched retirement savings, paid time off, and more. LSS is a great organization. They recognize my talents and my desire to grow. Kelly has advanced to a job as a training specialist, working with new employees to prepare them to support people with disabilities. We're neighbors helping neighbors. So do work that matters. Grow with us. Find your meaningful career at Lutheran Social Service, named a top workplace by employees. Learn more at lssmn.org slash immediate openings. Ask about the hiring bonus. You might be eligible for up to $2,000. You know Shaletta makes you laugh, but did you know Shaletta Brundage can also make you think and boost your business? Media personality, activist, and comedian Shaletta Brundage founded Shaletta Makes Me Laugh to celebrate and share the best of black culture. It's a podcasting platform. You can download 10 weekly podcasts hosted by African-American subject experts at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com is also a production house creating broadcast quality commercial content. And Shaletta and her team of storytellers create powerful promotional campaigns to get businesses the brand awareness they're looking for. Some of Minnesota's top businesses trust Shaletta, and you can too. Get out the word about your events and products and get in front of communities of color with ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. She's got the power to help your business. Are you a woman known as a good listener? Do you have skills in de-escalating situations? Are you what they call a people person? 
then the Minneapolis Police Department would like to meet you. Now in a rebuilding phase, the Minneapolis Police Department is recruiting more women to wear the badge. The department offers career options for women with a high school diploma or GED. There are also opportunities for women with two and four year degrees who are ready to apply their skills in new ways. Police work makes a great second career for social workers, teachers, nurses. Women in their 30s and 40s are welcome to apply. There's no age cap. You'll be paid while you train and mentored by veteran women officers invested in your success. Minneapolis also welcomes current police officers to join the state's largest department. Make a difference on the streets, working in your community, in a career with competitive salaries and generous benefits. Go to MinneapolisMN.gov and search police jobs to find out more. If you live in an older home, it may contain lead-based paint on walls, woodwork, and windows. Even more bad news, lead exposure can be dangerous to young children and impact their brain development. And now, the good news. Hennepin County will fix lead hazards in your home at no cost to you. We were worried because of the paint in the windows in the bedroom. They were peeling and chipping, and we know that when paint peels and chips, and it looks a certain way that's possibly lead. We were worried for our children more so than anything. Eligible homes can qualify for up to $15,000 in upgrades. You may even qualify for new energy efficient windows. Don't worry, Hennepin County has a trusted list of pre-approved contractors. You won't even have to find companies with correct licenses or certifications. I've just done a test and it's positive. So we know that this is lead-based paint and then we know it's a hazard because it's creating dust every time this window moves and opens. And if you look in here, that's just full of lead paint chips. You won't have to stay with your cousin while you're getting the lead out. Hennepin County even pays for you and your family to stay in a hotel while the work is underway. The last good news is how easy it is to apply. Just go to hennepin.us backslash lead control to get started. I'm really happy with the program. We can go to bed knowing that our children are safe. That's hennepin.us backslash lead control. Tell your friends about it.